Okay, yeah, yeah, good to see you guys too. I mean, I don't know where to start from, but I'll probably just start from somewhere. Um, I mean, you guys heard I was in an accident and all of that. And I probably, I mean, one of the things I took out of that experience was that I've probably learned to appreciate life more. I've learned to appreciate every moment that I spend with everybody. And I probably made a personal resolution that I probably want to just leave one very tiny, small impact when I meet anybody from now on. But then, I mean, it happened. I think that it was basically God trying to send a message. And I got that message very early. It wasn't my time to die. Unfortunately, it was Kunle's time. And I have come to terms with that already. So, but then, I mean, one of the things I probably just wanted to let you guys know is that, I mean, they've said it all. They've said probably everything I would like to say. But I'd also like to say one thing. Nothing comes easy. Nothing in life comes easy. And again, I mean, when I look at that, this near-death experience again, it, I keep, it keeps re-echoing to me. And I'm sorry I'm going to be a bit emotional, but I mean, it just keeps coming back to me that nothing in life comes easy. You want to actually make the, the you see a picture of yourself years from now, and you want to make that picture. It's not going to be a, an easy one. So, I mean, if you expect that, you're probably going to sit down and then things are going to work out for you. Then I mean, all the best uh, in, in that journey. But then the point is that you want something, you have to be the one to stand up and go get it. And your standing up could actually be at the risk of a lot of things. You might lose your legs or lose something. You would lose something, definitely, in that story. So, again, put that in mind that as you go out, again, and accept, don't accept the, that status quo. Don't accept whatever status quo you find. And it's one of the things I told you when, I was, when we were talking about problem solving. When you get to a, com a particular company, a particular organization or firm, don't, don't just be that guy or that girl or that whoever who comes and then you, are, you, know, you just want to be, just do my work and go home. I mean, it's fine. If you really love something boring, I, honestly, I don't have a problem with that. But then the point is, I mean, one of the things I, I probably grew up, one of the, 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 the ethics that I grew up with is like, I never settle for the lesser journey. Yes, I went to Mayflower School. Yes. I went to Mayflower School. I spent six years. With, I mean, I, I, I saw Dr. Taisho Larry for two years of my life. I mean, we lived and we did everything together. As old as he was, he took off his shirt every five o'clock in the morning. I was in the field doing the same thing with us. And yes, the, the very easy road, you will probably get something, but it's probably not going to be worthwhile. There will be no stories to share. There will be no generations to inspire. So put that in mind. Again, I told you guys that one of the things that you guys should see yourself as someone very, very different. The point is this. When you die today or when you leave today, how would you be missed? And one of the things I did when I was with, with that organization I told you about, by the way, that organization was ISEC. But that for every role I took, one of the things I promised myself was that I wanted to be the best ever in that world. I wanted to leave a very, very significant mark. So that was my, my guideline. Okay, that one. You are now so, 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 so. How many so, 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 so are there? There are like thousands of them. How can you be so different from them? What exactly is the unique thing that you can do? And understand that it's about inspiring people. So whatever you do, don't think that you're probably too small or too ordinary to inspire people. No. And again, it's not about the money. I would always tell you, it's not about the money. If it's about the money, money is so easy to get. Yeah, you say, ah, so yourself, money is the easiest thing to get. There are shortcuts to it. And you, we all know. You know the shortcuts. You just can't bear the consequences, it's fine. But money is easy to get. But then the point is that what happens the moment you, are, you become very, very rich, like stupidly rich, what happens to you personally? What happens to your personal pursuits? What happens to your own personal passions? That's why I said, follow your passion. Follow that thing that you think you're cut out for. And don't think about the money. Because at the end, money will add up. Or it will all add up. Don't worry. Yes, you might, not, you might not be the richest man in the world. No one was meant to be. You might also not be the poorest. No one was meant to be. But the point is, follow your passion to the, to the limit. And do not settle for less. When you get anywhere, you get any job, think about how to be the best person in that, in that role. 
I told you about how people from practically use each phone experiences to actually transform their company. Yes, they went as far as sitting down, thinking on their own and saying, what exactly can change in this company? How can this company be better? And then they went also saying, okay, what is the solution that we need to implement? And they went to their boss, submitted it, and then they went back to their job as if it was normal. And then from that period, the appreciation rate they had for those people increased because these people truly care about the company. And take it as if it's your father's company. Don't worry, your father probably never had money. Maybe that would eventually become yours to rule one day. Really? Ah, it's not my father's company. Don't worry. I mean, it's never going to be your father's company. Whoever you were, your father was probably had a company, he got inspiration somewhere. So it probably, probably, it probably wasn't his in the long run. So, again, they've said it all. Take everything you hear here at this particular point to heart. And, I mean, keep them very, very dear to your heart. I wish you all the very best. Like I said, again, like you said, you remember when I met, I said we probably might not meet again. Again, I'm saying again, we probably might not meet again. And I mean it. But the point is that one mark that I just want to leave, or one impression I want to leave with you guys is the fact that you, you had one black dude with glasses on his face telling you about how to make the best of your part in life. Forget my name, don't worry. And you make that particular name, make that particular person that you were meant to be, irrespective of whatever jobs you take. Thank you very much. <laughs>